Governor Ted Strickland's campaign stop in Oberlin on Wednesday put the focus on his administration's major initiatives to advance renewable energy in Ohio. Specialty Services manufactures wind turbine generators. It's designed for, for residential, um, farm use, and also industrial use. Supporting wind and solar energy is one piece of the governor's message about the efforts he's made to create jobs and transform the state of Ohio from a heavy manufacturing economic base to one fueled by high-tech research and development. Third Frontier, uh, a program that has helped so many uh, large and small businesses uh, take uh, creative ideas and, and uh, provide the kind of assistance that is effective in pulling in larger amounts of private capital to take these ideas and turn them into commercialization, which leads to job creation. Like it did for specialty services idea for smaller use wind turbines. The state's economic development efforts in the recession have become a major campaign issue in the governor's race. And while unemployment has been at or above 10 percent for more than 18 months in Ohio, Strickland believes the programs he's put in place are gaining ground. Ohio now has the sixth fastest growing state economy in America. That means that we're doing better than 44 other states. We have the fifth best education system in America today and the number one system in the Midwest. Um, I want people to know that we've cut taxes since I've been governor. The income tax has been reduced 17 percent since 2005. Every senior citizen who owns a home in Ohio has received a property tax cut under my budgets, a property tax cut that averages $400 per year every year. We've expanded health care for our people. So um, even in the middle of this recession, with the difficulties that we have, uh, I have worked to live within our means while investing in those things that are important to Ohio's future growth. During his four years as governor, Strickland has also passed education reform, adopting an evidence-based approach tied to school performance, over time driving money to those districts in greatest need. His opponent wants to undo these reforms, one of the reasons the governor is running for re-election. I'm running for two reasons. Number one uh, is, to, is, is to try to complete some of the work that we've done um, to create jobs and to give people expanded opportunities. The second reason, though, to be quite candid with you, is that I fear what will happen to Ohio if my opponent, John Kasich, is elected governor. I think he's outside the mainstream. I think he's reckless in his thinking. Uh, and uh, he has made proposals um, suggesting that he would turn back our, our renewable energy standard. Uh, he's made uh, uh, very definite statements that uh, our education reforms would be uh, eliminated if he becomes governor. Um, we, we won uh, $400 million to establish passenger rail service in Ohio. He says that he would send that money back uh, to the federal government to be given to some other state. Of all the issues on the minds of voters, it is job creation that comes first. That mission, job creation and economic development, is, is by far the most important duty and responsibility of uh, the next governor. It's my most uh, heavy responsibility uh, as the current governor of Ohio to work to try to get this economy back on track. Let me say that we have lived through a national recession. I did not cause the recession. Ohio did not cause the recession. Um, America lost about eight and a half million jobs as a result of this recession. Too many of those jobs were lost in Ohio. But I've been working every day to rebuild this economy, to see that jobs are created. Uh, I was working to create jobs in Ohio while John came.